Excellencies, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Heads of International Organizations, Ladies and Gentlemen, Mirwe Mwese. It is an honor for me to join you tonight to celebrate the 38th anniversary of Europe Day. Coming from the Schuman Declaration, this historic day celebrates the beginning of modern Europe integration for unity, peace, and development. On one hand, EU achievements that we celebrate today give us hope in man's ability to think creatively to find the solutions to the most critical problems of humanity or communities. On the other hand, they are a witness that if it has worked for Europe for decades now, it can also work today and tomorrow in other parts of the world affected by conflicts, including Africa. As a legacy, we welcome the launching of the Schuman Security and Defense Forum last March in Brussels. This forum offers a good opportunity for world leaders to discuss peace and security issues and take appropriate measures. I take this opportunity to commend the EU's global leadership on peace and security issues, and particularly the EU-Rwanda partnership in Mozambique. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the relationship between Rwanda and the EU continues to grow, supported by our permanent political dialogue, as well as the Sustainable Development Cooperation Program. Our permanent political dialogue is carried out through different frameworks, including the Article 8 political dialogue, which took place earlier this year. We also had a security and defense dialogue, and our Minister of Defense participated in the first edition of the Schuman Security and Defense Forum in Brussels. Furthermore, the EU is Rwanda's second largest trade partner and Rwanda's biggest foreign investor. Through our permanent political dialogue, we will continue to discuss and put in place tools and a good environment for flourishing businesses. Beyond the priority areas of cooperation, as agreed by the EU and the government of Rwanda in the multi-annual indicative program, there are new sectors of shared interest, including peace and security, refugee issues, and vaccine manufacturing, among others. We are also looking forward to establishing a new bilateral partnership with the EU on sustainable raw materials value chains, which will help promote sustainable mining and sourcing of raw materials with a focus on critical raw materials needed for the transition to a low carbon economy. We appreciate the EU's development support and hope that our partnership will grow even stronger in the coming years. Though more or less behind us, I would like to commend the EU's global leadership in the fight against COVID-19 and say that the idea of manufacturing vaccines locally in Rwanda originates from this time of pandemic and the need to facilitate regional equitable access to medicines for Africa. <coughs> Distinguished guests, following last week's heavy rainfall that caused floods and landslides which led to the death of 131 people, I would like to express our sincere appreciation for the messages of condolences and solidarity conveyed by the EU delegations and EU member states. I look forward to working towards strengthening the strategic partnership with the EU and the desire to move this relationship to new height. Happy European Union Day, Murakoze Chane. I now wish to invite you to join me in a toast to the friendship, 
and to the ever-growing <coughs> partnership between Rwanda and the European Union. Wow. And, 